is it okay to constantly cook for him? Him who? Your husband? Your dad? Your brother? <laughs> like, who is him? <laughs> Quick story time here. Okay, we would hold each other's hands. This is how I want my husband to hold my hand one day. How do you set boundaries when you begin to realize that he is catching feelings already? You say A M A K A. Oh yeah. Yeah, me say open up your heart. To the will of the Father, open up your heart. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Amaka A M A K A A A. Y'all already know, y'all already know what's popping in your area. If you're new to my channel, welcome to the Open Up Your Heart channel. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you are a returning subscriber, What's up? Today's video, I'm going to be talking about all things female versus male relationships versus friendships, uh, pretty much platonic relationships. Um, I think this is something that this generation kind of struggles in. I don't know about previous generations and how it went down, but I see that a lot of girls are catching feelings for their guy friends and a lot of guys are catching feelings for their female friends and then it becomes all sus and all weird and then friendships get broken. So today's video is going to be a Q&A session of people just asking me, you know, how to maintain guy and girl friendships or female male friendships where it doesn't get to like mixing friendships or friends with benefits that's too far setting boundaries giving you guys perspective on some things i've done some of my mistakes in the past and how to go forward also i hope you guys are liking my blonde hair today i love it i love it i love it summer vibes <laughs> okay let's get right into this video so the first question is is it okay to wear your male friend's clothes. So this is a female asking, is this okay, obviously, to wear your male friend's clothes? First of all, do you have clothes? I don't think there's anything wrong with wearing your male friend's clothes if you don't have clothes to wear and you know, you're stranded on the streets or something crazy like that. And also, I don't think there's a big deal if it's like, oh, like both of you want a twin and that person has that same cloth. And I'm like, oh, like, hey, like pass me a hoodie, like let's twin together or like, okay you need it for an event or something and you've seen them wear that shirt or whatever and you're like hey i can i borrow this cloth then yes of course but if it's like oh i want to borrow this cloth because i want other girls to know that he borrows me clothes and you're trying to do it in a sense where in your mind you want to oppress other people you want to make other people kind of be like oh my gosh like She's wearing that guy's clothes this 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 like what is your intention with borrowing the clothes if the guy's cool with it you're cool with it and the intentions are good you're good that's all i gotta say i don't know why it took forever to kind of explain that but next question is is it okay to constantly cook for him him who your husband your dad your brother <laughs> like who is him constantly constantly do you have a ring on your finger do you have a ring on your finger my sister like yo that's a no the constantly threw me off like if you say is it okay to cook for your guy friends then okay yes is it okay to cook for a guy friend constantly i'm just gonna give you a straight answer don't give husband privileges to boyfriends period don't give husband privileges to boyfriends you know and it's just like okay is this person like sick is this person this is this person you gotta ask that question because you have to protect your heart like if you're doing this constantly you have to like why i'm kidding i'm like i'm like wait what you guys live together like what is the first of all uh, disclaimer disclaimer this is a christian channel so i'm just gonna be giving you things based off of godly values but also based off of things that i would do or things i wouldn't do and take this with a grain of salt and you know obviously test everything that i'm saying before you apply it into your own life but I am a person who's like, I want to live with a high standard. Why am I constantly cooking for a guy? Is he my husband? Is he my dad? Is he my boyfriend? Is he my, you know, and like, why am I going to be constantly cooking for my boyfriend? Am I giving wife privileges to a boyfriend? Can he not cook by himself? Why can't he cook by himself when cooking is a skill? <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know about that. It's just the word constantly for me. 
you guys have to be careful and you have to guard your hearts. No. It's a hard no for me. Cooking is a skill. It's not gender based. Thank you. Next question I got was, is it okay to want to get to know their family and friends? So is it okay to want to know like a girl's family and friends or a boy's family and friends even though you guys are just friends? Of course. Of course. I think the biggest thing is what is the motive behind it, right? But I don't think there's anything wrong with knowing people's family and friends because you obviously want to know where this person comes from. You want to know their background, even if they're just your friend and you know there's nothing going on. You need to know who you're hanging around, right? Because you can tell who a person is or who they will be by the five people they hang around the most. So I actually want to know who are your friends? What are what is your family like? How did you grow up? Right? Because I want to know who I'm hanging around. So if you guys are going deep into that friendship, then obviously I think it's natural. There's no biggie. Next question is, is it okay to pray with your guy or female friend privately? Okay, quick story time here. Okay, so when I was a lot younger, I used to hang out with different people. There was this guy who I used to hang around and hang out with or whatever. And there came a time when we started praying together. Whenever we would hang around each other, when we're done, we would pray together. And whenever we would pray, we would hold each other's hands. Do you get me? That's a wrong no. That's a whole no. That's a no. That's a no, my girl. That's a no. And, you know, we would hold each other's hands and everything. And we would pray and agree on certain things, right? And there is nothing wrong with praying together with someone but for me as a lady I'm just going to say that could create a lot of things and of emotions for some ladies some people can feel very connected to other guys especially when you're holding the person's hand obviously you're just like oh my gosh like is he my husband like this is how I want my husband to hold my hand one day he might be the one he's not thinking and daydreaming and all these things and my friend and I like we stop holding hands like maybe after like three weeks or maybe a month of holding hands while we prayed if we went somewhere or whatever like that or whatever like and we were just friends we were just friends right but it was out of a pure intention of like i agree with you but i feel like what because and because it was one-on-one -on -one privately there could have been seasons where I was like, yo, it's not my hand. Like, you know, you're like, your mind is trying to pray, but your mind is going somewhere else. Like, I'm just being real, right? So it's just like being guarded and, you know, letting the Holy Spirit lead you. The Holy Spirit didn't lead us to hold hands after that, you know. He didn't even lead us to hold hands at all, but, you know, it just felt good. It was just like, okay, let's pray together because normally we would pray together. If, if we're all in a group, we will always hold hands and pray together. So, hey, both of us, let's pray together. And I think he initiated it of like, let's not hold hands or whatever. I can't remember, to be honest. It was a while ago, maybe four years ago or five years ago. I don't even know. But in that way, like there could have been emotions that started to stir up in my heart as well because I'm like, hey, like, this guy is kind of taking the spiritual role in my life, right? My husband is going to be my spiritual covering in terms of being the head of the spirit of my household, right? So he is the only person who I should really feel comfortable praying with, with a guy and a guy, I'm sorry, with a guy and a girl in that way. And I don't want anybody else to take that role except for my husband to be my spiritual covering. So I have to be very careful and you have to be careful as well as guys and as girls, you know, when we're praying with people, we have to be careful of our intentions, of our motives. You know, I don't really think you need to be holding hands or you necessarily really, really, really need to be praying together privately. Um, you could just say, hey, can you please put me in your prayers for this? Can you please put me in your prayers for that? Of course, the Holy Spirit can lead you to say, hey, like, let's pray right now. Yes, for sure. But you guys have to be very careful because for me personally, I don't think I really, really feel the whole thing of a guy praying over me constantly. Like, you know, me calling the guy every single day, calling him and praying with him or every single time, like, you know, us physically meeting and praying all the time together physically. I don't know. I don't really know about that because I feel like in terms of the Bible and spiritually, my husband should be the head of my household and he should be the person who covers me spiritually. I could cover myself. They could cover me. They could pray for me privately or less is in a group setting just for me emotionally to guard my heart. That's just how I feel. There are guy friends of mine who I have whereby there's one guy friend of mine. Shout out to you. 
you know who you are. We talk like probably like three times in a year and whenever we, it's just a tradition for us and it's just been a culture where, where whenever we catch up and we talk to each other, we just end up saying, hey, like we gotta cover this up with prayer because it's always an edifying, like every single conversation I have with majority of my friends are edifying conversations, conversations that encourage us, right? To, you know, pursue the Lord and different things like that. And whenever we, finish talking to each other we always end with a prayer and it's over the phone and there's no strings attached or whatever but you have to guard your heart if you think if you start to sense that oh my gosh like i'm thinking like this guy is my husband he's always praying over me and there is nothing there and that i'm just gonna say don't do it like i'm just gonna say like tell him to pray for you in his own spare time pray for you or him pray for him in his own in your own spare time unless the holy spirit really really guides you guys to pray together you guys can do that because there can be emotional build up there can be an emotional attachment you can start to to you know bring that person on or stir that person on of like is this my husband is this my wife that kind of thing you guys have to guard your hearts we all have to guard our hearts because yeah the enemy is not playing flee 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 because it's very easy to catch feelings for people and you just gotta guard your heart. You gotta know what stirs you on. You gotta know what spurs you on. Jesus died for you. Jesus died for them. You can pray for him. You can pray for you in his private time. To be honest, let's go. Go boldly before the throne of grace. Hallelujah. Next question is, how do you set boundaries when you begin to realize that he is catching feelings already? How do you set boundaries when you figure out that a girl's catching feelings for you already or a guy's catching feelings for you already? I'm gonna say this first of all, that sometimes you don't necessarily have to do anything that you can control for in order for somebody else to catch feelings for you. There are people who have caught feelings for me that didn't necessarily, that I didn't necessarily put myself in that place where they can catch feelings for me, but they just did because probably they like my personality or they like something about me. I don't know so just you know just to you know make you relax in that way and be like okay but in that way you also have to self-reflect and be like is there something that i have been doing to stir up that feeling catching in that area and of course if they're catching feelings for you they probably told you or probably noticed it having a conversation with them and saying hey i don't feel the same way about you or i do feel the same way about you kind of thing or like what are some things that i've been doing that have been making you feel this way right maybe you have to reduce the amount of times you guys talk on the phone if you guys talk on the phone every single day every single night at 3 a.m 3 a.m no you know kind of thing you have to kind of realize that if you don't because the bible says that do not awaken love until it's right right don't awaken love in someone else right i think it's very uh, important to set those boundaries you know do you have to limit the amount of times you call them do you have to limit the amount of times you text them do you have to limit the amount of times you interact with them so that they're not you know getting the wrong response and having that real conversation of like hey like what am i doing is there anything i'm doing that's making you feel this way or do you just like me as a person you know and just you know control the controllables right and you know key into the holy spirit holy spirit what do you want me to do do you want us to only you know and try as much as possible hanging out in group settings and different things like that you know so yeah i know the world doesn't really give this kind of advice but if you're a woman or a man who wants to live with a godly standard or qualities or godly standard godly character i don't know you know you have to guard your heart you have to guard your heart because out of it flows the issues of life but yeah guys thank you so much for watching this video to the end if you liked it please make sure you like comment share subscribe which one stood out to you what do you think of these standards are they too high or are they too low all the good stuff and i'll see you in my next video bye can a girl and a guy be best friends what are the boundaries? Would you advise it? What if we catch feelings for each other?